We're not done yet with editing. We still got quite a bit to go. This is the Filmmaker's Boot Camp, and you're at the Indie Lot, where it's film school for the rest of us. Let's go ahead and let's run this back to the beginning and let's hit play because this is going to be very important. I want to show you something here. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about pacing here in a minute. Okay, one of the things I hope you noticed, now by the way, those cuts together, those edits together seem to me to be pretty, pretty good. I don't, uh, I don't feel awkward about them. They seem okay to me, but what does not feel right, what does not seem okay to me, I'm going to go ahead and make this timeline smaller. What doesn't feel okay to me is how, how long everything is taking. Okay, did you, did you feel that same awkwardness? Do you notice how we just got way too much time spent. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that beginning filmmakers make. And I want to alert you to this mistake. We tend to get our pacing way too long. We've taken this footage, we want to use it. But really, the art of editing is learning how to cut things out. Basically, what you're trying to do in your edit, you're trying to remove just things that are just absolutely not necessary. Okay? And as far as the pacing goes here, remember I said it's kind of like a beat of a song, you know? Um, if, if it's, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the music, everything, the beats and the flow of the music follows within that, that cadence. Editing film is the same way. You, wanna, you want to be very careful with your pacing. The problem I had with this is that it was just way too long. So I'm going to start right there and just let's just see how this feels between the first shot to the second shot. Here we go. Still might be a little too long. I'm going to shorten that up. And again, I'm going to just do it even a little more. Okay, now definitely this segment here is also uh, way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and move those guys out. I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to shorten this maybe right to something like that. And let's just see how this overall feels. All right, one more time. Okay. Okay, good. All right. I think overall that's probably okay. I may do some adjustment and tweaking on it later. One other thing, too, that might help, if I go in here, I can drag this little controller. You can see how it's creating that darker space right there. And that's basically a way in DaVinci to do on-the-spot uh, fades 
ins and fade in and fade out and that sometimes can help All right, good. Yeah, that's that's feeling good to me. Now, something we haven't th thought about or talked about yet. Uh, remember, we did the over the shoulder and we did the point of view. So this is okay. Yeah, so that's the point of view. This one is the over the shoulder, and let's just find a spot that we like. Okay, I mean, really in there. I'll do out there, and. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select this part of the video, drag it out, and all right, let's get a feel for this. Okay, you, you seeing it, you feeling it, just way too long, does not need to be that long. But before I shorten it up, we're going to do one other thing. We're going to also grab this point of view. Let's do a punch in and a punch out on that as well. Yeah, we'll just grab it right from here. I don't know that it really matters. And we'll do out there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drag this into the layer above. Um, because you don't have to do linear like this. You can build things in layers. So let's go ahead and let's see what this is like now. Okay, it didn't feel quite right, so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to scoot it over. Let's try that. So, you know, this editing is drag and drop and move and maneuver and just see how things feel. Okay, and that seemed pretty decent, so let's do this. I'm going to bring that down like so, and let's bring that in and now again let's go ahead and preview see how that feels overall and when I'm saying feel I'm hoping that you're getting this and you can feel the the pacing you can feel whether it feels right or if it feels too long or if it feels too quick okay let's try that bring that into there All right, one other thing that doesn't quite feel right to me. What I think I want to do is I want to shorten up. I want to shorten up that. And I want to take this one and I want to lengthen it a bit. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. So we've got that, and then let's see. What else do I want to do? Um, let's go ahead and do something about this ending, and I think I have some footage here where I could... punch in right there. To right there, and I'll say out. We'll grab that, we'll throw that, and we'll also add a little fade out. Okay, and that was a little too too quick. So I'm going to drag this out, expand that, drag that, Oops, hit the magnet tool. Makes it easier to snap things to the end of the existing footage. No, nope. so what's wrong here? Definitely something wrong here. Notice how I'm moving, and all of a sudden the, the picture is still. So let's drag this out. 
Let's try that. So can you see how I'm trying to edit on action? Hopefully that term is making sense to you. But this is what your editing is going to be like. You're just finding those places where things just feel good. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's run this. Um, yeah, let's just run this from start to finish. Make sure that the pacing feels good to us. All right. I think overall it felt pretty good. There might be something there that's still bothering me. I'm not sure yet what it is, um, but we're going to go ahead and move on. As you can see, uh, the editing process for your film is going to be quite intensive. It's going to take you some time, a lot of tweaking if you're like me. But, you know, even after we've done all that we've just done, we're really nowhere near being done yet. We're probably halfway there, maybe, right? In our next module, we're going to continue on, and we're going to introduce the concept of Foley, which is sound effects, and we're also going to look at audio.